Okay guys, so um, I'm gonna show you now how to uh, thread and use the Elna SU model of sewing machine. So these ones were donated and I can honestly tell you I don't have the manuals for them, so we're kind of winging it a little bit so far. Uh, but for us to get started, it shouldn't be a problem. Um, the first thing is let's figure out what kind of control knobs we have on this and it's very similar to the other machines in the class. So of course, the first one being our power button, our on and off button. Uh, the light on this one is out. I need to get that fixed. I also have the manual um, revolver here that when I turn it to the right towards me, it actually lifts and drops the needle over here. And like I said, you're going to use that a lot. Um, so kind of the same idea as the singers. Uh, this right here is your stitch length and we're going to leave this set at a four. Um, this right here is your stitch width, and you would use this when we use zigzag stitches, but when you use a straight stitch, um, of course, it's just going to be one width, so we'll keep that set at a zero. Um, your zigzag and your other selection of stitches are in here, and I can kind of pick which one I want to use. Um, for now, I'm just going to leave it set at a regular zigzag. We're not going to use that today. Um, the next one over here, I just have a uh, needle position control. So I'm going to keep this generally set in the center, but if you wanted the needle to be to the left of your fabric or the right of your fabric, you actually have that as an option on this machine, which is nice because my other machines don't have this. Uh, okay, and then the last one over here is the tension knob. And I'm kind of playing around with these machines. They need to be oiled, but I'm thinking we'll just keep it you know, probably at between a four and a five, two, that should work for us. But if not, um, I'll, I'll help you individually. So then the last one, of course, is back here. It's that, uh, what we call the presser foot lever. So you lift it and drop it. Make sure you have your fabric, um, make sure you have that fabric kind of sandwiched in between that presser foot and you have that presser foot down before you start sewing, guys, it's a big tip. Otherwise, you'll have to wait for me to come unjam your machine. So, how to thread this guy? Very similar um, in concept as the singer. They have, you know, what we call thread guides or hooks, and they have a tension disc just like all the other machines. So, to thread this one, we're going to set the thread on top here so that when it spins, the thread comes from the back. And over here, we have a couple of thread guides. I have them labeled on this one. So thread guide number one, you just snap this from left to right, and it's in. Then this one here, let me see if I can zoom in on that a little bit more. There you go. This one, um, to get this through this little corkscrew here, I go from left to right. So it's actually through here without being hung up on anything. Um, your thread should be free flowing. It shouldn't be caught up on anything. Okay. The next thing here, of course, is your tension. So this thread is going to come around here. You see this little knot, this little um, arm right here just kind of goes right in between there and then back up on this side and it kind of gets clicked in there. Well, there you go, kind of hear it. Back up a little bit. Okay, this one also has a hook or a guide here. If the that arm is down, you have to manually lift it, and then this is going to go over it from left to right, just like that. Then we have two more guides. We have to get make sure that we get them before uh, we start sewing. So this one here is number five, a tiny little hook just kind of slides in from the left. And then of course, uh, this little tiny hook here on the very top of the needle, which everyone loves to forget this guy, uh, kind of goes right in between there like that. And then of course you have to put this through the tip of the needle. It's easy to put that foot down, gives you a little bit more room to do this. But uh, as you get better, you won't need to do that, I don't think. Same idea here, I hold that thread really close to the end and then I put it from front to back through the tip of that needle. There we go. 
There we go, I'm ready to go on top. Lift up your presser foot. This goes in between your presser foot into the back. Okay, so that green thread is ready to go. Now I have to do the back side here. So this is a little different than the Singer machines, okay? But the idea is the same. To open up this back side, I'm gonna just push with my thumb, snaps open. This style of machine does not have a bobbin carrier, it just has a bobbin and Mine has white thread in it on this one. So same idea, here's my bobbin. Make sure this goes inside the thread carrier, oops, uh, clockwise so that when I, I pull this, it, it spins clockwise. Okay, that's super important. Otherwise you're gonna jam your machine. There you go, just like that. So I'm just gonna set that in here, just like that. Now I'm gonna put my thumb on the tip over here, just kind of hold it in place. And I'm gonna spin that thread around there is a tiny hook right there where that thread just went through. And then it's gonna go down and that's it. So you see that little, I can point that out, that little slit right there. The thread's gonna go through there and down. So close this up. I'm gonna go ahead and hold the green thread. Oops, it got stuck in that door, there we go. I'm gonna hold the green thread tight like I did with the singer. Don't let it go slack, you want it to be a little tight. I'm gonna drop that needle all the way down, completely down and up, and it's, see how it grab that white thread from underneath there. Um, if it doesn't work the first time, you have to keep trying, just keep dropping that needle down and right back up. Eventually you'll get it. Um, I think I just jammed my machine by doing that. Yep, I think I did. Give that green thread a pull and it should release for you. Oh, darn it. Okay, hold on. Okay, so part two of the Alna SU bottom thread, um, I actually had to open that up again and take out the bobbin to uh, get that um, Unjam. So we're gonna try this again. Okay, so I have my bobbin thread in the back and it's ready to go clockwise. I'm gonna close that um, face plate and I'm gonna hold the green thread tight. Oh, that popped out. Let's put that back in, that little hook. There we go. I'm gonna drop the needle all the way down and right back up and give that green thread a pull. You see how the white thread just came up right there? I don't know if you guys can see that. There we go. There's the white thread. So again, just take something pointy like your scissors, go through that loop. See how I kind of grabbed it through the loop? Just give it a pull so that both of those threads are coming out from the center, just like that, okay? And guess what? If everything is loaded correctly, um, then you are pretty much ready to sew. So I'm gonna go ahead and take another piece of fabric here and um, the idea is the same. When you put your fabric in the sewing machine, you want the excess off to the left. So let me back up just a little bit off to the left here. So I'm gonna go ahead and follow this edge. Um, I think I did forget to mention on the Elna, one of the most important control knobs here is the reverse. This is our reverse right here. So um, remember that to tie a knot, you wanna hold this button back and then let it go. That's gonna be um, your knot right there. So. This also has a gas pedal, a foot pedal, just like the other. So I'm gonna go ahead and go forward a few times. And then I'm gonna reverse it to tie my knot. And then I'm gonna let go of that and go all the way down here to the end. When I get to the end, before I go off again, I'm gonna reverse it a few, forward a few, lift up that presser foot, and then this should gently pull out. If it doesn't, give this a little rotation. Rotate that knob, it should make it easy for you. Remember, you're gonna cut this way out over here to the side, just to give you some extra fabric to work with, some extra thread so it doesn't get caught back up in that machine again. If this is pulled, if this here is pulled out to the side, nice and easy for you, everything's threaded right, then you are ready to go again. So if you have any questions, let me know. This is how to thread and use the Elna SU sewing machine.